What's up, boys and girls? This is Scyther 407 7th, and we are back with Bioshock Part 3. We are getting ready to head to the Serpent's Hall, or whatever you want to call it. That's where we left off. And, yeah, so here's some salts over here if you need them. And you will probably need them maybe in a little bit. I don't know, depending on how much you're using them. But because we are going to come back through here. There's some rotten fruit if you need it. I don't know if you can pick any of it up. There isn't really much in here. There's some silver eagles. There's some more salts over here and some, some bird shit if you need that. I don't see why you would, but yeah. But anyways, this is what I do. If you want to try to get the Lost Weekend Trophy, you'll want to drink at least, I don't know, I, I read up on it and it was like three bottles, but I think I only drank like one or two. Anyways, you want to get drunk to where it starts getting blurry, and if you kill five goons, you'll get the Lost Weekend Trophy. And what's cool about it is if if you don't do it right away, you can always reload the checkpoint because it just adds up. It doesn't. It's not like you have to do it all at once. Now, all of a sudden, I thought these guys were going to be like friendly to me, and I was like, "Cool, you know, I'll have a few drinks, take some Silver Eagle." No. So, <laughs> all right. So I did grab. I kept grabbing more because I wanted to make sure I stayed buzzed. <laughs> and <laughs> I, well, you can see that I was a little drunk there. You could barely see him. I'm like, oh, but I got him. So. And basically what you want to do, of course, is, you know, do some looting and everything like that. Now, you're going to go through here, get some silver eagles there, um, get some more shit, some more crows, <laughs> check the table. There's some silver eagles here. There's even uh, there's a pistol sitting there. Although I don't know if you can pick up the ammo. Mine was full, so possibly. I just came back through here, grabbed some more salt, and then here we go. We're going to go to the main room where we need to be, where the zealots are going to be. And uh, my approach, well, I get my Devil's Kiss ready. And I kind of line them up. As soon as I get over here. Come on. There you go. Oh, yeah. Hey, how you doing, buddies? Yeah, you're about to die. So I line them up, get as many as I can at once. And that does give us the vigorous opposition. I think that's uh, number 10 out of 75. You do that 75 times. I'm imagining you get a trophy for that. So I'm doing a lot of meleeing. Because, hey, why not? I'm not wasting any bullets. And, you know. Now, I do start shooting here in a second because I start getting overwhelmed. And I'm not going to lose any health over it or any sleep or anything else. He's going to lose his, uh, it's like he lost his neck there. All right. So, pretty simple. Um, another passionately reciprocated again using the machine gun. He's dead. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, my God. Now, what happened there? I don't know how. I just... Uh, he just kept moving. He kept... He kept, you know... Kept... Uh, kept dodging. There's one more guy down there. Um, but I take care of him. I just loot these corpses real quick. A lot of them have silver eagles. Maybe some health and stuff. I don't really need the health, but... Hell, I don't even need the salts either. Oh, yeah. There. Dead. That's it. That is the whole shebang right there. Not too difficult, really. Uh, there is some machine gun ammo over on the right-hand side, right over there. And I think I do. Oh, I do pick it up. <laughs> I actually remembered. Sweet. So you want to come down here, and uh, there's you want to check the pews because there is going to be some loot to uh, pick up. Where you going? Where you going? Come on now. It's the same place you just came from. It's just a different set of stairs. Just get, come on. I think I got stuck there. I have a tendency to do that for some reason. Especially if you try to hurry to run. Oh, there's a Vox phone here too. I'm pretty sure there's like a purse or wallet down there or something. I don't know. I can't remember. So I'm going to loot him. I really don't even need the health kit. I can't even get the health kit because it's, you know, I already have health. Oh, look at that. Hey. A couple of boxes here from a couple of them that burned up when I uh, lit their rasses and everything else on fire. So I think that's all that's in the... P okay, this is what I'm doing. I'm checking. I'm like, wait a minute. Okay, yeah. Uh, is there any... Uh, well, actually, I kind of I was kind of looking to see, making sure there wasn't any boxes there of dead guys that I missed to loot. So anyways, when we finally get over here, you want to jump up. Well, you can't jump up here. At least I couldn't. <laughs> but guess what? 
first thing, hey, look, there's the key to the chest that completes the side quest. Well, it will. Um, well, it did. Technically, it completed the optional quest, um, but we are going to run back and get it. Okay. So, I added to my shield, and then the next one, there's going to be another vigor. Or not another vigor, but another... Um, uh, vo uh, not vile, but, you know, whatever that I just picked up. So, we're going to go back here, and there are going to be some respawns. So, I'm just going to kind of shoot that dude down. And I'm going to miss that dude totally. I don't know why. Tonics, I guess. Yeah, tonics. Well, anyways, uh, there's, I'm going to add to my health, I think. Because I add to my shield. Ooh. You son of a... Now, I loot these guys, like usual. And then I can't find the other guy. I'm like, where else the other guy at? I hear him. There's some machine gun ammo, which I probably can't pick up. I'm like, where are you? Where are you? Okay, I don't see him. Eh, that's empty. I know there's one more person over here. Nothing there. I'm going to go over here because I have a feeling they're trying to hide. Mm-hmm. Oh, look at that. Oh. Yeah, time to beat ass. Don't even use your gun. And fly, corpsey. So he's dead. Cool. All right. So we're going to head back through the, whatchamacallit, uh, back to here. <laughs> and we're going to go all the way to the bedroom. And here's the chest. Yay. The infusion, that's what it is. So I decided to take the health because uh, that's what I wanted to take. And then we're going to head backtrack back through the building that we were just in where we killed all those uh, zealots all right oh and oh when you come out here go past this vending machine behind this tent because behind the tent because there's another kinetoscope um you know i probably should have let that left that on there to see how many were on there that was the whole point of me doing that and i kind of just skipped that right there and all right next time i find actually i did that with a with a telescope as well. Well, next time, hopefully you're keeping track. Maybe I won't need to do that. But I, all right. Next time, anytime after, from now on, after this video is over with, I will show the count on where you should be at, because I'm gonna make sure I get every single one of those, and that way you can just keep track. If you don't want to write it down, or you know, you don't want to try to memorize it or something. Okay, so there's nothing at these desks. We can go in this elevator then. It's more shit in the elevator, of course. Damn birds. Sweet. All right, you can go. So, nothing really on the benches here. I don't think. Might be something. Nope, nothing. Figgies. Vending machine if you need it. I don't know, you might need to get some health or salts. Now, on this table here there's some shit there's some more shit more shit there's some pistol ammo if you need it some silver eagles and there's a purse and there is some salts if you need it oh and some more silver eagles that's all that's really there and then there's something projecting on there and it almost looks like um phrenology uh, phren phrenology i mean phrenology measurement of the the, the head and brain and everything like that but anyways uh you want to search this desk there is a voxophone some machine gun ammo as well as what else i don't think there's anything oh some soda Ooh. all right so that's from the first zealot now you do not want to go up those steps yet because if you look across <gasps> there's a bookcase with some lights coming through. Well, there's a reason for that. Because we can actually move it. There's something hidden back here. <gasps> awesome. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, there's some... There's a jail cell. Great. Well, there's also some silver eagles and candid banes. Might get, might get a little gassy back here. That's all right. Just keep away from me. Now, at first, I was like, well, I don't really need that, but... 
uh, wait a minute, I'm not coming back here, so you might as well might as well take all that food. That's just gonna give you more towards the coins in the cushion achievement or trophy, you know. So we'll see what happens with that. Now, oh, yeah, this is uh, those are gear. That's the new gear that that actually will increase your melee by three times. I think it said. So that's cool, and I do a lot of melee, you know. Now, you only have four slots, which are your hat, your torso, your feet, and your hands. So, of course, eventually you'll have to switch some out because, you know, you'll find different gear, or whatever suits you best in your playing style and everything. So, uh-oh. That's not good. Them crows are hungry. So we decided to break open and see if we can get uh, so this is the crow father, I believe that's what he's named. Uh, I could be wrong though, because I know that's the same name as they gave um, the guy in Dark Siders too. I think it was crow father. Well, anyways, I think I still think it's crow father. I but if I'm wrong, hey, look it up. I don't know. I'll look it up later, maybe, and maybe I'll correct uh, somebody. I'll correct myself. I mean, in another video, I could look it up right now. So anyways, I throw a devil's kiss. I go far enough so where I, he starts coming over here. Kind of try to line up a little bit so he'll fall into the trap. The fiery trap. Look at that. So he was still burning. He's dead. That's how simple that dude is. You know, I can swear the first time I played this, I it was I about died. <laughs> anyways, you get the murder of crows vigor. That'll be our third in the vigors that we've we've actually obtained so far. I like using this; it works pretty well. Hey, you got something on your uh, beak there, buddy? Hey, he doesn't care. He, he ain't listening. Yeah, they ac they actually uh, work pretty well. And I'm gonna set some traps because there's plenty of uh, salts around that I can refill. You know, I mean, because he had some salts, plus these guys that I'm about to. So I'll throw one right there. I know they're going to come at least that far. Yeah, come on, run, get it. Yeah. So that's three out of well-rounded. Well-rounded is a trophy is, uh, where you use each, at least once of each vigor. And like I said, there is eight. So I've gotten three so far. And that's because I have three vigors. Duh. I mean, if you, can, you, know, you know how to do math, which I do. I don't know how the hell I let him hit me. Not that it makes a difference anyways, because, you know, my uh, my shield protected me. So, All right, so, yeah, I'm low on salts, but look, this dude's going to probably have some uh, salt. Yeah, there's a little bit of salt there. All right, where's the other guy? I know he's here somewhere. I saw him get killed. Oh, uh, no, fruit. Okay, well, that's okay. There's some salts hanging out right there. Plus, the uh, crow father, which actually, wait a minute. It says right on there, doesn't it? When you hover over him. Oh, it just says corpse. Okay, so never mind. Oh, and he only had health. Oh, that's all right. I'll get. I'm sure I'm gonna find more. Plus, check this out. There's another gear sitting there. So that's gonna be your second set of gear already. You know, within what five minutes or so. So this is burning hat. Seventy percent chance of the melee target is set ablaze. Victim takes 300 damage, what, per second or something like that? That's awesome because, and I'll tell you, yeah, beginning of that 70% chance, yeah, normally they're set on fire. I love using the, uh, uh, I, I love using that gear. So we're going to go over to this boat right here because, look at that, there's another telescope. After that, you want to come around here. I dismount here because, you know, look, there's some provisions and hey there gives me more salt there's nothing over here now we can head back we're actually getting towards our destination of course now I do come in here I was thinking that I was gonna be able to go to the top to the second floor but you can't and there's that's no way to get in anywhere sweet more soda awesome All right, so get some more, uh, get some more fruit in here. Let's, uh, get some, get some oats and some cornflakes. You know, build up your energy. There's some silver eagles. Gotta get the cashola. 
I should be getting another coins in the cushion here in a second, I believe. There's some cigarettes if you're feeling a little, uh, if you're getting a bit of a nicotine fit. Of course, it'll take away your health, but it'll give you salts if you need them. So I go into stealth mode here, just in case, because I know there's somebody down. So there's a desk I'm about to loot, but first, a uh, headshot. Yeah, and I forgot there was multiple people in here. So I reload. This dude, I don't know why it showed a skull over his head. I mean, was he already almost dead? <laughs> I mean, was he wounded when he got there? Because I didn't shoot him, <laughs> and there's three guys in here. So there's this dude, shoot him. All he does is take a little bit away from my uh, shield. I'm going to go over here, loot the desk, and there's... Oh, there's a, there's nothing in the desk, but there is a purse. All right, so once... And that's pretty much all that there is there. So we are coming to the end of this video. We will be back in the next video, which will be Bioshock Infinite, uh, Episode 4. And we're going to continue on. I, I was gonna I was gonna keep on going, but I figured yeah I'll wait I'll wait till we go to this main part. There's gonna be a fight, but we're not doing it in this video. That's okay, you know. So hopefully you're enjoying these videos. I love this game, so I'm glad that I'm doing it, and I'm glad to be able to be getting videos out again, you know, because I mean man I was getting antsy about that. <laughs> so, but yeah. So all right, hey, uh, thanks for watching, and um, you know. We'll uh, we'll see you in the next vids. We'll uh, we'll oh, almost missed some provisions. Gotta get my coffee. Oh, there's the coins in the cushion. I knew it was there somewhere. Ninety. There's some trash cans over here you can grab, and then uh, then we'll get ready to head in the building on the next video. All right. Take care and cheers. Bye bye.